He's one of my best friends in the world, and oh god! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. <That's> sweet. <laughs> Why did things go wrong? Uh. Would you ever reconcile with your dad? Do you ever see that happening? No, absolutely not. My parents separated when I was very, very little. They didn't have a great relationship. There was just a lot of fighting and a lot of... Uh, so I grew up fighting with him a lot, and that's when our family split in two. Her name was Marshalline, and everybody called her Marshmallow, you know, as a joke, because she was just the softest, most gentle woman in the world. She was a great listener and a great friend. She was my best friend. I guess she made me feel like I, I had a voice and, and, uh, and that no matter how, what would happen, I knew she'd love me. And she never had a career as an artist. She never had the opportunity to express herself beyond her theater class. She wanted for Jamie and I to know what it is to have a life as artists. She drove me to every audition, and she would wait in the car for hours, always make me feel really good all the times I didn't get the job. And when I did, we would jump up and down and scream and yell like little girls. Things were said and things went too far. So I stepped away and called my mother and said, I'm just, you know, who, he, he and I will not be speaking anymore. She would never get angry. She couldn't swear to save her life. But when it came to her kids, she was just really, really fierce. fortunate I was to have food to eat, a roof over my head, a safe place to live, and the joy of having my family safe and healthy. Above all, she was very clear that nothing would mean anything if I didn't live a life of use to others. And I realized how sheltered I had been. And I was determined never to be that way again. But I will do as my mother asks, and I will do the best I can with this life. stand here today means that I did as she asked and if she were alive she'd be very proud so thank you